Given the language L over sigma, two strings are distinguishable with respect to L if there's some string where exactly one of the concatenation XZ or YZ is in our language. A set of strings is pairwise distinguishable if any two strings in the set are distinguishable with respect to L. And if S is a set of N strings that are pairwise distinguishable, then a finite automaton that recognizes the language must have at least N states. This gives us a goal when designing a finite automaton to recognize a language. For example, let's consider the language that consists of all strings with at least one one. Let's find a lower bound for a finite automaton recognizing L. So remember, nothing is important. The empty string is a string. So let's consider, if x is in L and y is not in L, then x concatenated with the empty string is in L, and y concatenated with the empty string is still not in L. So we can start our pairwise distinguishable set with an element of L and an element not in L. So we might begin with 0, which is clearly not in L, and 1, which is in L. Could our empty string be part of our set? So we need a string x where exactly one of empty x or 1x is in L and the other is not. Since 1x is definitely in L, then we need lambda x, which is just x, to be not in L. So x equals 0 will allow us to distinguish between 1 and lambda. And the fact that x equals 0 is already part of our set doesn't matter. All we need is some string that allows us to distinguish between lambda and 1. But wait! We're not done yet because that only says lambda is distinguishable from 1. We'd also need a string x where exactly 1 of lambda x and 0x is in L. So suppose lambda x, which is to say x, is in L. Then x would contain at least one 1. but then 0x would also be in L. So suppose lambda x, which is to say x, is not in L. Then x contains no ones, and so 0x is not in L. So lambda and 0 are not distinguishable over L, which means we can't add lambda to our pairwise distinguishable set. So our pairwise distinguishable set so far includes none of the strings of length 0, both of the strings of length 1. What about strings of greater length? So if a string z contains a 1, then z concatenated with x is going to be an L for all x. But since 1x is in L, then z can't be distinguished from 1. And if z doesn't contain a 1, then if zx is in L, x must contain a 1, so 0x will also be in 1, so z can't be distinguished from 0. And that means no other string can be in our pairwise distinguishable set. And so we can't expand our set any further, so I'll find an automaton recognizing this language has at least two states. Now our theorem is often used in the negative, so let's consider the language of palindromes over a two-symbol alphabet. We want to show that no finite automaton recognizes this language. So we'll produce a set of pairwise distinguishable strings. So first note that A and B are distinguishable over our language since we can concatenate either with A, and AA is a palindrome, while BA is not. Now let's consider another string, say AA. Let's add a string x so that AAX is a palindrome, 
but AX and BX are not. Intuitively, we might complete AA into our palindrome, but we have to be careful. Concatenating with AA won't work, since AA AA is a palindrome, but so is AAA. -A. However, concatenating with BAA will produce a palindrome with AA, but none of the others. And we already have a string that distinguishes A from B, so we don't need to worry about that. So AA is an element of S. What about AAA? Well, if we concatenate that with BAAA, we get an element of our language. But if we concatenate any other string with BAAA, we get a non-element. And in general, AK is an element of our pairwise distinguishable set for all K. Since our pairwise distinguishable set has an infinite number of elements, a finite automaton recognizing the language of palindromes would have to have an infinite number of states, uh, so it wouldn't be finite. And putting everything together, Kleiner's theorem proved the equivalence of regular languages and finite automata. Since no finite automaton recognizes the language of palindromes, then the language of palindromes is not a regular language. In fact, it's uh, something we'll discuss later.